ਸਾਰੇ ਦੀ ਪੱਗ ਸਿਰਫ ਉਹਦੇ ਸਿਰ ਦੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਦਹਿਸ਼ਤ ਤੋਂ ਹਰ ਦੁਸ਼ਮਣ ਦੀ ਔਰਤ ਬਾਂਝ ਹੋ ਜਾਵੇ ਹੈਲੋ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਇਬਰਾਰ ਔਰ ਆਪ ਸੁਣ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਡੂ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟ ਅ ਕੁਇਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਵੇਰ ਵੀ ਰਿਵਿਊ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਅੰਡਰ ਦ ਸਨ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਮੈਂ ਆਈ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਲੈਜੈਂਡ ਔਰ ਮੋਲਾ ਜੱਟ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਹੈਪਨ and even if nothing's happening that's still something happening right so on this show we talk about things that happen we get an esteemed panel of highly jobless people to answer the million dollar question do i like it this film is directed by bilal nashari and is a remake of the 1979 film mola jatt which was a pakistani punjabi film set in rural punjab and was a film about revenge drama masculinity and pride The remake maintains some of the themes from the original but adds more to its characters and really brings out the rural Punjab element with absolutely beautiful set designs. Ek do jagah to I thought that they actually shot in location which they obviously did for a lot of the scenes of the film. I watched this film in a theater in London where I had some of the best experience of watching a film on the big screen. Sadly the film has not released in India yet but hopefully for the sake of Awad fans some ott platform picks it up so that indian fans can finally see him on the big screen yaar because frankly it's been a while since we saw fawad khan on film fawad is unlike anything that you've seen before he is big in stature his face has scars and he has beard which is all mangled up he is unlike the chocolate boy that we think he is this is because he's playing mola jatt a prize fighter who fights for money for the village fair and he has visions of his past and of the death of his family who were killed by the dreaded nut clan the revenge saga does not start from the first scene itself unlike the original where there is a lot of violence from the get go in this film mola jatt is shown to be a brilliant fighter who could beat anyone and everyone is scared of fighting him there are a lot of his admirers including the village belle makho who is his love interest played by mahira khan their chemistry is wonderful and you could see some of the charming chemistry that we saw in the tv serial hum safar which became super popular in pakistan and also in india a few years ago unlike the original sultan rahi character of mola jatt fawad does not snarl and shouts in every scene he brings a lot of charm he smiles he jokes around he has romantic elements to him as well he is a different mola jatt than one would expect and similarly the primary antagonist of the film nuri nat is played brilliantly by a wonderful hamza ali abbasi who steals every scene that he is in he has some of the best dialogues in the film and he shows his acting chops with his obsession with fighting the best fighter in the world assisting him is his sister daro a conniving political figure head of the film who is such a strong female character this film is essentially a gandasa film Now gandasas are axes which is used in rural Punjab. The word gandasa became popular after the short story by the great Urdu writer Ahmad Adib Qasmi. The short story introduces the character of Mola Jatt for the first time and the story of his revenge. But the first time that we see Mola Jatt on the big screen is in the film Vahshi Jatt which came out in 1979 and the character was played by Sultan Rahi himself. he then played the same character in the 1979 mola jatt which became super popular in pakistan and was even popular in india where a lot of people who speak the punjabi language knew of the film this film is full of violence and gore but the director has very smartly edited out the scenes of violence so that the audience does not become squeamish and you get to the point of why the violence is being carried out in the film kandasa wielding mola jatt is the epitome of justice in the film he is the angry young man that pakistan wants the film has a stellar star cast and farid shafi is a revelation in the film as the comic relief brother muda of mola the famous dialogues from the original like nawaya hai sonia really adds to the film and was really appreciated by the audience watching the film in the theater where i was in it is no surprise ke jab film khatam hui so a lot of people actually clapped for the film because they were very happy to see a pakistani film of such stature and such good production value being showcased all around the world this is a fun action packed riveting ride that you have to watch in a theater and it will keep you hooked if not in a theater indian audiences should hope that an ott platform picks it up so that you can finally watch 
Fawad Khan in action in a brilliant action point boiler that resembles a lot of 1970s Bollywood films. This was my review of The Legend of Mola Jad. This was Ibrar and I'll see you in the next one. Do I like it is a quint original podcast executive produced by Shani Wali and Ritu Kapoor this episode was hosted by Ibrar produced and edited by Anjali Palod it uses audio from the film The Legend of Mola Jad and theme music is from BNG